Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my February haul. Disclaimer, 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 disclaimer. If you are on a low buy or a no buy and haul videos trigger you, please don't watch this video. I did have a few comments in my January haul because I titled it like low buy fail and some people were really upset with me and I just want you guys to know like I had no idea that titling something like that could get like draw people in and it was just it didn't sit right with me because that wasn't the intention I just wanted to very clearly say I suck at low buys and that was my intention with that title so I'm gonna apologize in advance if that bothered some people, I know somebody definitely said they were unsubscribing to my channel and I felt really bad about it because it was completely unintentional. So disclaimer, I didn't do too much better in February, to be honest. So was, we'll see. We'll see what you guys think. But uh, yeah, I still, I still feel like I've done good-ish. Um, I was talking to my husband the other day and I was like, honey, do you feel like I bought less makeup? And he's like, you know, he's like, I know you're still buying stuff, but I feel like it's about one third of what you used to buy. And I think that's a pretty good estimate <laughs> that he has in his brain. Um, some of this stuff was sent to me or pre-order. Some of it was just me being a savage. So if you're interested in seeing what I picked up in the month of February, just keep watching. <laughs> Okay guys, we got a little pile. Let's start with some random things. So the first thing I picked up are these and I am not really supposed to be buying skincare, but I keep finding every exception in the book. Like I never said specifically that I wasn't allowed to buy eye patches. And let me tell you, I have been on the hunt for some eye patches. I bought a bunch of like patchology eye patches from Ulta like three billion years ago and the other day I went to use them and they were so moldy and they had sat in my fridge for so long and I like instantly just threw the tub away and eye patches are expensive like I was kind of shook to see that eye patches are like 60 50 dollars so when I saw that good molecules was coming out with some I hopped right to it these launched couple of weeks ago and I picked them up on launch day. Since then, I actually had Good Molecules reach out to me and they're gonna send me a package. So I'm really excited because I'm really hoping that I'll get more of these and I really, really wanna try their niacinamide toner. So if you guys have tried their toner, let me know what y'all think. Um, but yeah, I've tried these once so far. I put a pair on my husband too, just to, you know, a little self care and whatnot. And they were pretty nice. So. I am excited to continue to use these. So the next thing I bought again was something that I, I've just been buying brushes like every month so far of my low buy, but these ones have been on my wish list ever since I found out that Sonia G was launching more of them. So this is the Sky brush set, I think is what it's called. I have her original brush set and I was seriously using those brushes like every single day and I missed these when they originally launched so when I found out she was restocking them I was on it like it was my job and so I was able to pick them up so I'm super super excited to have those as you can see I haven't used them yet but now that I filmed this video I can do that which I'm super excited for. So my first palette of February because you guys know I'm only allowing myself to buy four palettes on my low buy was the Natasha Denona Love Palette so here is what this palette looks like. I have filmed one look with this palette and I really like how it turned out. I wasn't in love love with this palette but after I tried palette number two of February it actually made me like this palette more because my second palette of February was the Millennial Pink palette from Mel Cosmetics and I tried that palette out. I did one eye look on each eye and I hated that palette so much. Um, most of you guys told me I should return it and I definitely agreed with you guys so I sent that sucker back so fast and yeah I, ooh, I intensely regret purchasing that palette so that really kind of threw me for the loop of like what is happening send me on a little bit of a spiral. I also did pick up the Smoky Glow palette 
in February um, when it launched. I think actually it was like the end of January. These like pre-orders are killing me because I'm having like the worst time trying to keep track of things. So then I did buy the Smoky Glow palette, but then I also ended up on Midas's PR slash like I'm an affiliate now with Midas Cosmetics. So I think I'm gonna get the Smoky Glow palette twice. I don't know. I also bought it because I didn't want to miss it. So like I'm in a pickle, okay? But so I did buy that too, but I didn't count it towards February because it's not here yet. I think I got shipping notifications, so I think it's gonna ship in March. So we'll just count that for March. I don't know, guys. I suck at keeping track of things, so just gonna tell you guys that. And then I saw this palette and I was in love with this palette. I just thought the color story was so cute. You guys haven't seen this on my channel yet, but I promise you a look is on its way. And I posted a picture of this on my Instagram stories and I think it might have been the most liked picture in like the history of my Instagram. It got like 300 something likes, which is like a big deal for me. I don't have too many followers on Instagram, so it was really, really cool that people really like that picture. But I've used, this, I've used this palette about three or four times and I've really enjoyed it. So I definitely wanna film a look with this guy for you guys. So that's technically palette number two because I sent Millennial Pink back, so that's that. A sweet, sweet subscriber knew how much I wanted this palette and sent it to me and totally made my day. This is the Dominique Cosmetics Latte 2 palette. I'm sure you guys have seen this a million times, but I'm so grateful that she thought of me because I had such FOMO for not buying this palette. So I feel like I would have totally cracked and bought this. So I'm glad she sent it to me. So. Yeah, that's that. Then we bought palette number three for February, which is the Bloodlust palette. This is Jeffree Star's purple palette that he came out with. This palette is honestly gorgeous. So many people have been, I don't know, sometimes it's just like, I feel like people like complain to complain and <laughs> like, trust me, I know, I know. Like, there's so many problematic things this that and the other but what really gets me is people that don't support Jeffree Star or any other youtuber but we still like talk about them because we know that that's gonna give our our channels attention so to me it's like why are you giving somebody attention that you don't want to give attention to like you know what I mean and uh, I don't know it's like how are you the moral compass of like the world? <laughs> I don't know. I'm probably gonna get in trouble for saying that but I just yeah it's just like buy from like let people buy from whoever they want to buy but I don't know I just feel like there's some channels where it's like they put the the palette in their thumbnail because they know that people will watch their video because they know they're gonna bash that person or that palette and it's like if you've never tried a Jeffree Star palette like how do you know it's not good like apart from the person like just the makeup how do you know it's not good and then they'll like criticize it and be like those colors are so light okay well look at this palette like these colors are really light too but nobody is dragging Dominique Cosmetics for not making like enough you know dark skin friendly shades like you know what I mean like I'm not trying to be shady but I'm just it's just an observation that I've made on YouTube I feel like people definitely use the fact that Jeffree Star is problematic to get attention and I mean that's cool if that's how you want to run your channel but I'm just saying like if you're gonna criticize the one brand then I'm also gonna expect you to criticize the other brand and like bitch about how Sugar Sugar by Marc Jacobs only suits light skin tones or benefit for like the 800th time is releasing another blush that only suits like light skin tones you know what I mean so hopefully you guys can relate to that if not that's fine we can all agree to disagree so just wanted to mention that but this was palette number three then things went a little 
little crazy, okay? I don't know how to keep track of this stuff, but I saw this at Walmart and I got excited because it's $3 and I don't know, I was just curious. I saw Samantha March had mentioned these and I've seen so many people making videos on them and I said no for the longest time and then I was at Walmart and I had like five in my hand and I was like, oh, it's fine. And then I was like, okay, let me be less of a savage and just get the one. So my husband actually picked this out for me and I used two of the shades in a video I did in February where I swatched the Cleonade eyeshadows. And it was, I've only used this once, so we'll see. But yeah, I definitely wanna do a video with this guy. So yeah, that's technically four, but like really, am I gonna count a $30 drugstore purchase as my fourth palette for February? So that was confusing. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. And then my clean out order came in. So then I'm like, well, this isn't purchase number four because it's a pre-order. So I'm thinking I'm gonna like modify my low buy rules to like pre-orders don't count. So if I like pre-order something, that's just like a pre-order thing because you really don't know when you might get your pre-order. So I got this row of the Vibrant Multichromes. They're stunning. I love them so much. If you want to see a swatch party video, it is up. This is their singles palette. I picked this up because it was on sale when they did this big restock this past year. So I love, love, love that. That wasn't palette number four either. And then this one, I don't want to count either because I've wanted this palette for so long. It is so funny. I talked about this in my video where I talked about older palettes that I kind of still want. And I probably wanted this palette for four or five years. I don't know how old this palette is, but for a long time. These shades just like really call to me. You guys know I don't fucks with NYX. I used to buy a lot from them when I was in college. I used to like their glosses and their butter lipsticks and all that jazz like I bought a lot of NYX stuff and so I just haven't bought from them in forever and I refuse to pay for shipping to get this from the NYX website the few times I've investigated this and then I saw it on Target. Target had it. It was out of stock. I signed up for the in-stock emailer and I got it and I have a Target card so I got free shipping and the stars just aligned and I got my hands on it, but I refuse to count it as palette number four because it's, again, it was like a $12 palette, so not counting that. I did break my low buy um, to buy this, but you guys know I'm a fucking sucker for a peach blush, okay? And I was so curious about this. This is the MAC Glow Play Blush in the shade Groovy, and it's honestly like, a beautiful creamy feeling blush. It's like a cream to powder and I like love wearing this and I honestly wanted to buy like every color of this blush because I was so curious about it and there's so many beautiful shades of this blush but I was really good and I just picked up the one and I had a Nordstrom note so I think I got this for like 12 bucks because I had a $20 note so it covered most of this and I really like this formula. I haven't bought anything from MAC in like a hot second. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. And yes, I did make my low buy because one of my low buy, no buy rules is no blush because I have so much blush, but I couldn't help it, okay? Sue me, sorry. Just trying to be honest, so. <laughs> Next, I did receive a wonderful welcome package from Midas Cosmetics. It was so, so sweet. So here it is. I just want to show you guys. I got these cute little palettes. You guys know I have one of these because I was so curious, but they sent me their rest of them as well, except the one that has the pressed glitters, but that's okay. So here is the Latte palette. So cute. And the other thing about Midas too is... They have really good sales, so if you are balling on a budget, like, you can, like, pick up stuff from them for, like, 40% off, which I think is pretty sweet. And then this is the decaf palette. So cute. Let me know which one of these you want me to use in, like, a video. I was kind of thinking, since I have the macchiato one, I should just put all of these in a giveaway so one of you guys can, like, benefit. 
But yeah, here is my macchiato, which I've used one, I think one time so far, but I again want to do a look with this because I think it's so cute. So yeah, she sent me an extra one for a giveaway, but I could just give all three away. So let me know if you guys want me to test these or if I should just put them in a giveaway. The other thing I'm so pumped about is this palette. I definitely saw, I think, a net from Annette's Makeup Corner review this palette and I was like, should I get it? Should I not get it? Should I get it? Should I not get it? This is why I think I should just buy only green palettes and my whole, my whole channel could survive like three years with me just doing green eyeshadow looks because that's how many green palettes I have at this point. So I'm excited. Definitely will do a video on that. And then she sent me three glosses. I'm going to keep two. The other one is a metallic. So I figured I would put the put that shade in a giveaway. But these two nudes are so beautiful. I have number one and number five. I haven't tested these yet. So I do need to do that. And then the owner of Midas is friends with Jen Gerard of Gerard Cosmetics. I haven't tried anything from Gerard Cosmetics. I hear so many people talking about them. I remember when they got into that whole like situation with like Manny and like they had a Jaclyn Hill collab and then Jaclyn Hill like disassociated herself from them and it was like a whole hullabaloo. So anyway, I'm still curious to try it. Like I said, it was sent to me so I will try it and Jen Gerard seems like she is very supportive of smaller content creators. I see her all the time in like my friends live streams and stuff like that. So, you know, everyone can change like stuff happens. Things get taken out of context. Who knows? I'm not willing to risk my integrity to defend brands like and brand owners like not my problem. But yeah, very exciting stuff. I'm so excited to be you know, part of the Midas affiliate team, whatever that means. If you guys want to shop Midas, I have a code now. It's an affiliate code, so I make a small commission. I haven't made any <laughs> Nobody has bought anything from me. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so the last thing, you guys... Please be nice, okay? I'm solely blaming this on Teresa is dead. This is all her fault. So if you have something to say, go say it to Teresa because this is her fault. So I, there's no, there's no way to justify this, okay? You guys are gonna be really disappointed and you know, that's, that's okay because I'm not perfect and it's fine. So for, for February, my last purchase, And you guys need to know, I bought this before I saw Jen Loves Reviews video where I'm like, oh my god, Jacqueline, come on. Like, we were all rooting for you. Like, seriously. And the funny thing is, Amy, Amy Loves Makeup is going to fucking kill me because she's wanted this palette and she was like, oh, I kind of want it. And I was like, Amy, no, don't do it. When I saw Teresa's dad's video, I like wrote to Amy and I was like, Amy, I want it. She's like, don't do it. And I was like, okay, I won't. But then I did. <laughs> so Amy, I'm sorry. And like, now I'm just like, I have this palette. I feel like now people are like anti Jacqueline again because the palette was doing really well. And then it came out that the formula is different from her original palette. So it's like a whole, it's like a whole mess. This girl cannot catch a break, I swear to God, but I have it, it's untouched. I think it's still worth making a video about, but if you guys don't want me to do a video, let me know. I'll probably still do it because like, I do what I want, but <laughs> I would be curious to hear what your thoughts are. Just be nice to me, I'm sorry, okay? I didn't realize that she was gonna end up in another disaster, so I do apologize. And then this is where I broke my eyeshadow low by situation a little bit more. I figured since I was making a little Morphe order, I might as well get this palette and it's cute. It's cute. She cute. This is the Morphe, uh, is this called making money moves or something? Making, I don't know. I have the box over there, but I can't see the name. So it's the green palette. I saw, again, Amy loves makeup review this palette and I talked myself out of it. And then I figured since I was placing the Morphe order, I might as well, I might as well throw it in there. So 
that was that was what I bought in the month of February and I'm so sorry if you guys are disappointed I am trying my best I really really wanted to film a low buy you know buy update for the month of January and then again I ran out of time and I didn't really feel like I had a lot of updates to give because I like seriously felt like I crashed and burned um and now I'm kind of crashed and burned in February too so we're really hoping March is gonna be better but I done fucked up on that too because this is an old palette but and then I it's a whole thing we'll see I still feel like I've cut down a lot so hopefully that's something but yeah don't judge me too hard I love you guys so so much Thank you so much for checking out my February haul video. I will see you guys in my next video soon.